continue. Then I thought, okay, we're going to make it until day 30. Because you must remember, in those 21-day lockdown, we had intercessors praying 24-7. Yes. Yeah. They were praying throughout the day, throughout the night for those 21 days. Then I got them together and said, please, can you continue until day 30? And we did that. You know, for 30 days, we had a prayer chain nonstop. And we even have prayer warriors, you know, still praying now yes. during the day, different yeah. hours, you know. And uh, we want to thank those uh, prayer warriors, those intercessors. Thank you. If it wasn't for you, then, you know, I don't know, you know, if we would have made day 100. And then, the, you know, I got to a place where I thought, okay, seven, 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 you know, 777 days. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, uh, but what about day 77, you know? And, and I thought maybe on day 77, I'm going to stop. And then, no, it still didn't feel like that. And, uh, you know, uh, leading up to day 100, I thought, maybe day 100 I'm going to stop. But you know what happens, Pastor Evan? The minute you think, okay, that's it, I've done my fair share, somebody sends you an SMS, somebody phones you and says, please, don't stop. You won't believe, last night you just spoke to me. Yeah. You spoke about this, so you spoke about that. You know, don't stop, please don't stop, you know. And I think you can testify about that as well, Pastor Evan. So at this point in time, Yes, honestly, I did feel like stopping a few times, but every time the Holy Spirit just comes and people come and I just say, I can't stop now. And by the way, the fact that we're in the studio with this big hundred doesn't mean we're going to stop tonight. We will still continue, um, hopefully, with um, uh, 777. I'm going to ask you my next question. Are you going to continue? With Absolutely, yes, Pastor Evan. There are people that are, are, are really, to them, it's kind of a lifeline. Yeah. I know when we had our youth week, we spoke about lifeline. Yes. You know, certain sessions were lifelines. And to a lot of people, you know, they look forward to that. They might not be there every single night of the week, but that night that they tune in, they just yes. feel that the, yeah. the spirit of God speaks to them. And I personally believe that this can become a new um, reality for families. You know, seven o'clock at night, get the family together. You know, even if they have to watch me, that's okay. You know, but for seven minutes, read God's word, pray together, and, and that can create a new culture of serving God. A new reality is like Brian. He won't go to sleep unless he's watched Triple Seven. Then the sixth question. Are there any testimonies of people whose lives were affected by Triple Seven? Pastor Ivan, actually, you are the one that can answer that much better <laughs> because he sends out the, the prayer request to uh, the, the prayer warriors and he gets what we call the praise reports. But there's been many praise reports yes. of people being saved, people that want to be baptized, people that are healed, um, people that went through financial difficulty that God just came through, people that received a word of wisdom, word of knowledge, you know internet <laughs> no matter if the signal was bad no matter if you heard strange noises happening on your side or or bad image or whatever we have continued to pray i mean uh, uh monday night for example there was such bad uh, 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 uh i don't know what happened and then we heard that our facebook page was flagged and just that night there were so many people that watched together and watched later on that we said one of the worst uh, uh, seven, seven, seven. Uh, in regards with the recording, you know, w was a lot of you. So, so we said, Pastor Evan, we're not going to stop. We're going to continue. It's an achievement. But I want to get to this tonight, and this is what I want to conclude with. God promised His people that if they obeyed Him, He would grant them military victories. And this is in the book of Leviticus, twenty-six, verse seven to eight. He would grant them victories if they obey him and then here specifically he speaks of god would cause 100 children of israel to be victorious over 10,000 of the enemy so there's something about 100 and today i believe that that is what god wants to do he wants to accelerate things within the next 100 days god is going to bring acceleration let me read this to you leviticus 26 Verse 3 to 12. And you might say, but that's Old Testament, Anthony. You know, um, that was for then. How can it be for now? You know, God's covenant is God's covenant. And let me read it to you. Verse 3 says, if you follow my decrees and are careful to obey my commands. In other words, if you do this, and I believe that's what we've been doing. Yes. If you call upon my name, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, I will heal your land. If you follow me, if you obey me. And then verse 4, 5, 6 9, 10, 11, 12 speaks about I will, I will, I will, I will. Only verse 6 and 7 is totally different. Actually, verse 7 and 8, it speaks about you, you, you. But let me quickly read to you. If you obey God's commandments, listen to what He will do. I will send you the seasonal rains. 
And we've even seen this as part of 777 the, uh, in uh, Burgersford. Yes. The, uh, Stillport. Uh, they were the one evening. They said we really need rain. We trust God for rain. We prayed that night. It rained yes. throughout the night. It rained. God can send seasonal rains. The land will then yield its crops. And the trees of the field will produce their fruit. We are worried about tomorrow. We are worried about next month. We are worried about what's going to happen to our economy. You, uh, I will send. God says, I will do this. Your threshing season will overlap the grape harvest. In other words, an acceleration. And your grape harvest will overlap the season of planting grain. Acceleration. You will eat your full and live securely in your own land. We don't have to move to another land. We don't have to. God says if we obey him. And that's what I believe about this hundred you'll see just now. I will give you peace in the land. I will give you peace in the land. And this is what this virus did. It came and it disrupted all our peace. It took away all our peace. God says obey me. Obey my commands and I will give you peace. And you will be able to sleep with no cause for fear. Some of us have not been sleeping well. Some of us have been lying awake, worrying about tomorrow. God says, I will let you sleep with no cause for fear. Because that's what the enemy does. He brings fear instead of faith. I will rid the land of wild animals and keep your enemies out of your land. And I take this prophetically over our land, South Amen. Africa, tonight, that God will rid us of this virus that is yeah. called the COVID-19, uh, the, the, the coronavirus. I proclaim this. I, in the name of Jesus, prophetically, I want to say that God will keep our enemies, this enemy of this virus, out of our land. Yes. It's time that this virus leaves. I know numbers are escalating i know some provinces are peaking more than others but we are trusting god we are standing upon his word i will but then verse seven and eight in fact you will <laughs> now god is t- 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 changing it around he says in fact you will down your enemies and slaughter them with your sword sure, what right. is our sword pastor Evan? our word yes the word of God is our sword. The word of God is our sword. We know that Ephesians 6 talks about the sword of the spirit, yes. which is the word of God. Yes. It's time that you proclaim that you use your sword, that you use your word, the words of your mouth, which is life and death is in the power of the tongue. Start speaking life. Start speaking God's word. He says, and your enemies will be slaughtered with your sword, with your words tonight. And then he says, in fact, uh, uh, verse 8, five of you will chase a hundred, and a hundred of you will chase 10,000. Sure, that's powerful. A hundred of you will chase 10,000, even not just acceleration and multiplication when it comes to God doing things for us, but us chasing our enemy away. And that's what I'm trusting God for. Prophetically, I declare tonight in the name of Jesus Christ that God will help us, that if we use our swords, if we use our mouths, that we will start chasing the enemy away. A hundred of us. Praying together. You might say, oh, but there's only 100 views tonight. A hundred of us praying together can chase 10,000, the Bible says. 10,000 of viruses. 10,000 of chokas in the name of Jesus Christ. All your enemies will fall beneath your sword. And when I read this, Pastor Ivan, I just felt that, you know, we are allowing this enemy this virus and other enemies in our lives, fear, anxiety, depression, you know, all those enemies, we are allowing them to holding a sword over us instead of us having the sword over them, yeah. which is our tongue, which is the words we speak. Those things should be under our words. Stir up faith. I love that. And then God goes back and he says, okay, you do this. You chase the enemy away. You, why? Because you've got your sword. You've got the tongue. You've got the power of God's word. You do that. I will do the rest, but you do that. Then he says, okay, when you chase the enemy, let me tell you what else I will do. I will look favorably upon you. I will look upon you with favor, making you fertile and multiplying your people. The sad part is we are seeing over the numbers, over the news, how people are dying. But we are declaring that God will multiply our people. 
and I will fulfill my covenant with you tonight. I want to say, God has a covenant with you. And tomorrow morning as part of our services, and tomorrow night I'm going to speak about the covenant. God has a covenant with us. And tonight, Pastor Evan, and if you've got communion at home, we're going to partake of this covenant. Because there's something about 100. There's something about what God is going to do in the next 100 days. You will have such a surplus of crops that you will need to clear the old grain to make new room for the new harvest. Prophetically, I declare over your finances tonight, over God's provision over your life, that you will have more than enough. You will have more than enough. Verse 11, I will live among you and I will not despise you. I will walk among you and I will be your God and you will be my people. I will be your God and you will be my people. That's how a covenant God speaks to us. He will be among us, Pastor Evan. He will not leave us. In this virus, he's not standing one side, aloof, away from us. He's part of this whole thing. And children of God, it's time that you and I realize that God is calling us to stand together in faith, in persistence. That's the thing about the church. We need to be persistent. We need to be persevere. We need to go through this. And that's why I want to urge with you, don't stop. In fact, tell other people about this. Invite other people to pray with you. Tell other families about this 777. We are not going to stop. Uh, everybody, every time Pastor Evan says, when are you going to stop? I say, I, I don't know. At this point in time, the Holy Spirit is not telling me to stop, so I'm not going to stop. I'm going to continue until I feel it's time to stop. But for now, we are going to partake of the bread and the cup. And if you have it at home, you're welcome to join me. If not, tomorrow night I'm going to do it again because tomorrow we are going to have communion as part of our reopening services. And for those of you who are watching us online and you can't be part of the actual in-church service and experience tomorrow, remember 9.30 and 6 o'clock is our um, Facebook Live. Yes. 9.30 is the Afrikaans and 6 o'clock the English. And then we will have our 777 at 7 o'clock tomorrow night again here in the studio and we will be having communion together again now pastor Evan, what i love about this and i just quickly want to read this again and then we're going to pray where god says the following he says in verse 9 i will look favorably upon you make you fertile and multiply your people and i will fulfill my covenant with you which covenant the covenant when jesus took this bread and he said this is my body that was broken for you this is my body and, 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 and we know that this body represents everything that Jesus is. And there's healing through his body. The stripes on his back, the blood that just ran out of his body, that body was broken for you and for me. And tonight I want to declare, as we partake of this bread, I don't know if you have it at home, it's okay. Otherwise I'm partaking on your behalf tonight and i'm declaring healing over your body in the name of jesus christ as the scripture said god will help us god will multiply our people father we thank you for that in jesus name thank you that healing will come thank you lord that we will see an acceleration even with this virus oh god we will see an acceleration in the numbers of people who are healed the number of people who are being healed lord i pray an acceleration in those those numbers right now because of Jesus's body that was broken even for those people who've been infected father Lord that an increase in the numbers of people being healed yes. we will see that over the next hundred days in the name of yes. Jesus Christ father we thank you for every person that we've prayed for even in this time Lord there were many people that we prayed for we think of Talela Pastor Oswald's wife father that uh, had to go for a test because they thought that she was infected with the virus and it came out negative she was not infected we think of many other people that we've prayed for recently a pastor and his wife and family members in the Eastern Cape and uh, Lord they came out of isolation and the tests were negative father we thank you for an increase in numbers of healings because of the body of Jesus Christ that was broken father many people who are battling with cancer other forms of illnesses uh, somebody Lord that's battling with their head I don't know exactly if it's uh, just a uh, severe migraine or if it's uh, a tumor or for a brain here 
uh, I come against those things right now in the name of Jesus. And this is what this bread was for. This is what the body of Jesus Christ was for. It was broken for you and I. And I proclaim healing right now. Somebody with a lung situation. Father, we declare healing over those lungs right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Also a heart condition. I don't know what it is, but there's something about your heart. Thank you, Father. And Lord, as we partake of this bread right now, we thank you for the healing power of Jesus Christ. If you've got any illness, any pain in your body, don't you want to mention it right now? Just type it in the comment section right now. And Father, as I partake and as Pastor Yevon and those at home who are partaking with us in the communion, Lord, I just pray your healing power right now over every form of sickness or pain, arthritis. Yes, there's somebody with arthritis. Thank you, Father. Through the blood and through the stripes of Jesus Christ, through his body, there's healing in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Arthritis, I command you to leave that body right now. Yes, sugar, diabetes, right now, in the name of Jesus. Leave bodies right now. I don't know why, but God just reveals to me gut. Somebody's battling with gut. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you that as we partake of this bread right now, that healing will come in those bodies, in Jesus' name. And we all know that after he broke the bread, he took the cup and he said, this is my blood. This is my covenant with you. And we know that any covenant was sealed with blood. Yeah. And tonight we thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, I want to thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you that one drop of blood was enough to save the whole world. But Jesus shed blood. Jesus' blood was shed on the cross. And Father, we thank you. Every drop of blood, every single drop of blood, Father, was for us tonight. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for setting us free, Father God, through your blood. And we celebrate the blood of Jesus Christ tonight. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this new covenant that we have with you through your Son, Jesus Christ. So, Father, I thank you that as we celebrated a hundred days of 777, looking back and seeing how faithful our God was, looking back and, 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 and just celebrating God's goodness, God's mercy. Father, thank you that you've encouraged people. Thank you that you lifted people out of very dark, deep holes. Lord, thank you that even those who, who felt like committing suicide, that that spirit of suicide was broken in the name of Jesus and people got new life and people got hope and, and, and people got, just faith got stirred up, Father. Thank you, Lord, for healings. <laughs> thank you for healings even right now, even tonight, Father. I thank you for healing. I thank you for healing. I thank you for your healing power tonight, Lord. I thank you that people will testify even as we were busy right now praying and partaking of the communion that healing took place. Pain left their bodies in Jesus' mighty yes, name. Lord, thank you. But I thank you for financial breakthrough. I thank you that you came through for so many people, Father, in this time. But we also know that some people are, are, are really going through difficult times. And we want to pray for those people right now. Lord, I, I pray for people that might have lost their jobs. People that might have been retrenched in this time. And I pray, Father, that you will come and that you will be this covenant God. And if you are our covenant God, you will not leave us. So, God, you will provide for us. You said, Lord, that we will not have time. The one thing will happen after the other. We will reap a harvest, Lord. You will look upon us with favor. Lord, look upon us with favor tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I proclaim favor over your life. Favor in the name of Jesus. Favor. I proclaim favor over your life in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your favor. Thank you for your favor, O oh God. 
Thank you for your favor. I, I, I still think of that little boy, Malachi. I've been praying for him many times. And, yes. and I thank you, Lord, that he will one day sit here in this studio with us and he will testify of how God has brought him through his family. And, and, and say, oh man, I'm also Sami come sit and I shall come get Oor die goedheid en die guns van die Heere. Dankie, ek spreek lewe. I speak life over that little boy again in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for people like him. Johnny, dear love, Lord, that you touched and you are busy restoring, Father, and, and many others that you've touched and restored, Lord. And I thank you tonight. Every sickness, every pain will disappear in Jesus' name. I specifically come against the spirit of cancer right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I bind your power, you spirit of cancer, right now. And I release over that spirit of cancer life. The life that is found in the blood of Jesus Christ that brings resurrection, that brings life, that brings eternal life. And I thank you for that tonight, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your protection as well, Lord. Thank you that you keep people safe, that you protect them. Lord, thank you that you kept us safe over this 100 days. Lord, we are sitting here tonight and we are thanking God for his goodness. A hundred years, a hundred days, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully a hundred years like, uh, like uh, uh, Abraham. But a hundred days, Father, you've been faithful. You've been faithful and you're not going to stop now. I declare it over every single person watching, those that will still be watching later on tonight as well. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for this country, mm. South Africa, yes. a beautiful country. Lord, you've called us to this country. You've called us to be part of the solution. Not to run away, but to be part of the solution, oh God, in this country. And we know that by praying, by prayer, oh God, you will heal our land if we humble ourselves, if we pray, if we repent from our wicked ways. Lord, we yes. repent tonight if we've had doubt, if we've had fear or anxiety. We repent, Father. We stand upon your word. We speak life. We use our swords tonight. We heard that a hundred people can put 10,000 to flight. Lord, we pray that you will give us people that will pray with us father and in the spirit we will see the enemy run because we will use our sword the tongue the word of God to come against the enemy tonight in the precious name of Jesus Christ father we thank you for your healing power right now in Jesus name whilst I don't know if there's anything you want to pray for you experience in your heart you know, as you're praying, you're just calling out uh, the various things. I have just felt someone with the, with the right knee. Yeah. Um, uh, like it was shifting back in place. Amen. Um, uh, I don't know if it's a tendon or whatever, but the right knee, specifically the right knee. Uh, I just pray for healing over, 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 over bodies right now. Amen. So, so Father, we just thank you right now, Lord, for healing over bodies, Lord, uh, over specifically legs. Yes. And right knees, Father. Yes. Whatever that might be, I pray they'll experience your healing. In Jesus' name, Father, we call that that knees to come into line with Your Word, Father. Every every tendon, every muscle, muscle, Father, every bone to come in line with Your Word. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. We're going to stretch our hands out towards you, Pastor Evan. Join me, and uh, I want to pray this prayer over you tonight. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you. May He turn His face towards you and be gracious to you. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, I know it's been more than an half an hour. Tomorrow night we'll go back to seven minutes, I promise. But thank you for joining us tonight as part of this very big celebration. A hundred days of praying together. Seven o'clock at night for seven minutes at a time. Okay, tonight it was a little bit longer. Uh, but, but the other days and some other days were a little bit longer. But you must understand, sometimes I just sense the anointing in the presence of God and I can't stop. But we thank God for that. Don't stop now. Continue to pray with us. Uh, host this as a watch party on your Facebook and invite your friends to join us tomorrow night at seven o'clock. God bless you. Shalom. Goodbye.